Ow, my head hurts. I know. I didn't sleep well at all from all the breeze coming through the cracks last night. I'm sorry, Lily. I promise you we will get another 30 pieces of wood and we will fix that tonight. There's no cutscene, right? Or is there? No. Okay. Oh, I have mail. Good morning. From Antoine. At the end of the week, we need qualified people to inspect products. To coordinate with this, we will not post any regular commissions during the weekend, but feel free to turn them in. Uh, I just want to inform you that the Civil Corps of Portia can take some commissions from you when it comes to gathering materials from hazardous ruins. You can post a commission on our commission board in the Civil Corps building at the northern end of town. There are some guidelines on the board that you should read before posting commission. Perfect. Uh, Petra, always looking out for things that aren't important to the... Or that... I'm always looking out for things that maybe aren't important to the research center, but they still tell a story from the old world. If you find something special, which seems to have a story, please bring it to me. And Polly. Hey, new builder. I have a manly commission for you to help get settled in. You feeling it? I need three copper blades for some of my furniture. I expect nothing but macho quality, okay? Also, if you don't have one already, you'll need a grinder to create these blades. That's all I know about builder stuff. Okay. I... Who didn't I... Oh, from Town Hall. There is two authorized ruins. Okay. Thank you. So can I make a grinder or something I need to... I don't... Yeah, okay. So I need old parts, grinding stone, all that good stuff. Fine. Oh, you know what the other thing is? I need to hang up my uh, my builder license. I have enough like food that I should be able to up my stamina um, more. Look, it's so cute. Okay, we're not going to take a commission today. Well, maybe I should go check and just see what they are. I don't think they're going to be anything good, but like, you never know. What time is it? 7.40. Hi! Who are you? Are you a spy for the Duvos Empire? No. Huh? You're just the new builder? Yeah. Hmm. Suspicious. More than likely. Thank you for chatting. <laughs> suspicious. I mean, yes. Definitely suspicious. I also want to go sell my boxing gloves. I tend, I don't, I don't use them. I um, build myself a sword as quickly as possible. I prefer that. I always have. The, I think the herbs will help us with the, uh, I think that gives healing. And I think you can use it to craft some stuff. Let me just pick all of this up. The funny thing is when you get a little bit into the game and you have the stamina to basically clear like this whole area, like the first time that you do it and it's just completely empty because you've completely emptied it. That's uh, that's kind of always makes me giggle. What's uh, oh no, I think the mayor wants to talk to me. Am I in trouble if the mayor wants to talk to me? Ah, uh, it's probably not good. Higgins. Uh, five rope. No, three bronze bars. Eight wooden basket. Eight wooden baskets. All right, Polly, you're going to give me nine friendship points and 181. You're going to give me a hand and you're going to give me one. All right, Polly, three bronze bars. I'm probably going to get everything to make bronze bars uh, ASAP. So we will do that. I don't want to know what the mayor has in store for me, but at the same time, I want to know what the mayor has in store for me. So we'll go talk to him. Hopefully it won't be anything weird. Mayor! Hello! Gail, what's up? Oh, right. You should get to know some of the people living in this town for your own benefit. I've made a list of the store owners within the city walls. You should go introduce yourself. Will do. Thank you. Can I get my daily point I with you? Portia can be more prosperous under my guidance and become the model city in Free Cities Alliance. It will. It will, Gail. I have every faith in you. I like the, the self-portrait that's there. That's adorable. Okay. So, oh, this is cool. So you can see Portia is, so if you're looking at the map, you can see where it says the Alliance of Free Cities. Um, I did not realize. So Portia is a south of Sandrock. So that's really cool that you can kind of actually see where it is. And Vega 5 is an island. Huh. And then we're supposedly from outside of Barnarok. So we're, we're from a, like an entirely different area. That's really cool. So now we know how they're all in relation to each other. Okay. I need to talk to Pinky again. I need these Pinky points. Pinky! Be my friend. Hi. Yes, exactly, you adorable little... Yeah, you little adorable cat, Pinky. 
She does kind of look a little bit because it's just she's all pink and fluffy and I just love her. Um, right. I have he wants me to go say hi to people. I don't. Is there a um? There's no timer on that. Yeah, the meet and greet has no timer. The Commerce Commission does. Uh, and nothing else does but the Commerce Commission. So let's go in here first. This is the first ruin. I want to use all the um, stamina that I have for the day in here. And then we'll hey go there. do the meet and greet. First time ruin diving? Yes. Yep. Alrighty. Let me explain then. All the ruins in the Alliance of Free Cities are regulated by the Civil Corps. To enter the ruins, you'll need to pay a weekly maintenance fee but we'll give you a 60% discount the first time. Okay. When you enter, I'll give you the jetpack and scanner. Very handy ancient relics. Mine in for resources becomes a lot easier when you have these equipped. When you come out, we'll need them back since they're very rare. This one beside me is an abandoned ruin. No monsters or robots in there, just resources and relics like power stones. Anything you find in the ruins are yours to keep. Unless they're ancient weapons. Then we're supposed to hand them over to the church for destruction. Okay, I'm done. Have fun and be safe in there. Thanks, Remington. All right, time to go in. I would like to pay the 80 goals. Yes, please. It's nice too, because your uh, calendar will actually remind you when that's um about to go up. So if you're new to the game, don't worry about like trying to remember. That's sand. I need... I need you. Yes? There we go, copper. Tin. Copper. That's how you make bronze. And we are off. I love the, the mining um, ruin music in this game. It is probably some of my favorite. It's so relaxing. I could literally sit here for hours and just mine and listen to this music. I actually have. <laughs> I've done, like, uh, playing this game. Like, if things get stressful IRL, I'll, uh, I'll come in here and just, like, mine with the music on and just to uh to relax a little bit other times though if i'm like in it and i really want to build a bunch of stuff i'll actually put my own music on uh and go mining which is also equally serious i got a data disc yay petra wanted to know about that oh oh no i promised her i'd get enough wood to do um to to fix the um the hole in the floor did we how much do we have we have 19 all right, so I have enough to almost fix one more. So I don't want to use all, all my stamina, or I could just use some of the um, some of the food that I have, which actually might be what I do. Just use my stamina for right now. Oh, I'll take a piece of that. And then, is that sand? Yeah. No, that was that was copper ore. The ore and the, uh, the copper and the sand look very similar. So sometimes it's kind of hard to tell which is which in this game. Okay, wait, no, up, let me up. Can I do that? Yes. And then... Oh, did I make it? Okay, I think I'm almost there. I made it. We're out. <laughs> oh, man. I tend to also not uh, search for relics right away. Because they take up they take up so much space. Like, so, so, so much space. And um, it's kind of easier to wait until the museum. Um, So then that way you can put... Uh, like you can if you put so many things into the museum you'll get a, your own relic um like put together machine kind of thing which makes it a lot easier than having to run back and forth and you can put like everyday things uh into the museum like if you click on something it'll tell you that it, like where it fits into the museum uh, or if it does so things like the stone furnace or uh, the i think like the grinder everything like that actually can all go into the museum uh certain like things that you'll find in the ruins like the washing machine and everything like that that'll also uh work in there so i try to fill it up with that kind of stuff early on and then that way i can get the build your own relic or like put it together basically uh so that way i don't have to worry about going back and forth back and forth all right, I think this will almost do all of my stamina. What time is it? All right, it's not late at all. Okay, this. I see what I mean. Like we're already getting a lot of stone. That's a good amount of those two. Not not as much as I'd like, but I'm not gonna complain about it. Okay, that's probably good. Let's do this. We'll go to the front. Mm-hmm. And then 
we'll go home we'll start building bronze bars and probably should build a copper bar soon too we're definitely gonna need it for the copper blades but we'll start with um bronze and that way we can get that commission and we can just start getting some money uh, and i need do i need 30 pieces of wood at least because i also need to be able to uh let's eat this and then oh, let's eat these and oh what the heck we'll just eat all of it that's what it's there for to be used at least that's what i'm gonna tell myself and not feel like i just wasted all that now but definitely do need a ton of wood to fuel the furnaces build another furnace all right we're at 40. so minimum we're able to fix all the holes in the house so we can use um so we can wake up with full stamina in the morning which is really nice if you plan really well and you didn't build two chests like i did at the start of the game um you i like i would have had enough to what was that oh <laughs> it's remington on his horse i was like what is that noise oh um, you definitely would have had enough to get started on the um like you would have been able to finish everything in the house is what i was thinking of which would have probably been a little bit handier but because i had the dlc and i don't like stuff just sitting uh in my inventory just like in the mailbox rather it, i don't know why but i just i don't like that so i wanted to get rid of it and get it put away all right so now 10 yes please excellent and then this 20 done all the gaps have been fixed <sighs> i'm finally going to have a good night's sleep yes you are lily look at little lily already fixing up her house i'm so excited for her okay so let's do this i want to build let's start with five okay and then i want to build one more I, did, I don't think i got any old parts that's something that we're desperately going to need to get all right let's build one more stone furnace and i'm gonna need a stone stool i don't wait do i not have any it says i should have do i not oh no i have 56 pieces this should be fine e. okay wood and then stone stool yay do 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 excellent so we'll put this here i'm probably gonna rearrange things soon but not yet i will put another you know what let's just put that in there copper let's build 10 get that started okay we're in a really good spot now and now it seems like everybody wants to talk to me that's fine i enjoyed oh emily hi Hi. How you doing? Hey, neighbor. Do you have a minute? Yes. I've been meaning to talk to you. Oh? Sure. What's up? I just got a new craft recipe all the way from Highwind. It's a box that can be used to cultivate crops. People in Highwind have been using it for a while now, and supposedly it's great. Can you build it and test it out for me? If it works as advertised, I'll order a few more off of you. You got it. Thank you. Here's the craft recipe. And here are a few seeds to plant. If you want more seeds, you can buy them from my granny's shop. Try Thank growing you. them to maturity and show me the harvest. Also, I have a tip for you. Using fertilizer will help increase the harvest. I'll give you some of that as well. Thanks, Emily. I appreciate it. Oh, did you have a quest for me too? Hey Chiwa? there. I'm Chiwa, the smallest of the Hulu brothers. There are seven of us, so uh, it'll probably take you a while to get used to it. <laughs> <laughs> what hey. can I do for you? The new builder, right? I am. You've I'm asked me Chiwa. that twice. I live to fish, but a big one broke my fishing rod yesterday. Can you make me a new one? You got oh, it. Oh, thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. We picked up. We have so many things to do. I might have given us like one too many things. Okay. Uh, no, I don't. So you can pick who to give the data disc to. Um, you can either go give it to Lee or you can give it to Petra. I think you can actually give each of them one, but I tend to go straight to Petra. Um, I prefer dealing with the research center, but that's just me personally. You can pick whichever one you want, but we're going to go see Petra and then we're going to go visit all the small businesses in the area and they kind of give you, I think if I remember right, they give you free stuff. Oh, you're outside training with Toby. He's also oh, romanceable. A new builder. I was nice to see young folks moving in. If you need refreshments, I'm your man. Try this. It's on me this time. Thank you. Hi. Hi. Did I get, oh, no, I didn't. Huh. Watch out, young one. Your reaction speed is way too slow. <laughs> My reaction speed is Goodbye. fine. 
It is not too slow. I resent that. I resent that. Hi, Pinky. 100%. Alice, am I supposed to say hi to you? No, but I can say hi to you anyways. Hi. Hi. Do you see anything you like? All my flowers okay. are fresh. So I'm going to kind of speed you. through the stuff that's uh, on repeat. So, Lucy, have we met? Hi. We don't get new people moving all the way out here too often. So nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you too. I'm Lucy. I'm a teacher at the Porsche school. I am Lucy. Lily. You're Lucy. I'm Lily. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever done that IRL? I feel like that's something that happens far too often. You say like your name uh, or their name thinking it's your name for a second because you're, yeah, that's always hilarious. Welcome, smallish builder. I sell furniture here in my store. Smallish if you have builder. Any need for manly decors, you know where to find me. Thanks, Polly. And since I'm so manly, I'm going to give you this to get you started. Thanks, Polly. Has anybody ever romanced Polly? Like he is romanceable, right? I feel like he is. Hold on. There, yeah, he is. And I just, I don't know really, like, I've played this game a ton, but I still feel like I don't know you, Polly. And I don't know if his romance is worth it. Like, do you get more information on Polly? And does he make more sense if you romance him? Or does he just never make sense? And I'm, I'm trying to figure that out. So, Toadie, I've, yeah, I don't, I don't I'm, I'm not, maybe, but Polly is still a maybe. And then, I've never romanced Audit either. Is, like, how does he work? Like, Arlo, I have. Albert, no. I'm just, I'm just gonna know that from the get-go. I can't believe, like, everybody on this page is romanceable. They had so many romance options in this game. Dr. Zhu is a good option, too. I liked him. But then I'd break up this. <laughs> I don't love that, so I don't want to be that person. <laughs> Ox is an interesting choice. Um... Wait, QQ is listed as the adversary. Wait, did where's where's um is Higgins listed in this yet? Or is he all the way at the end? I forget. Where did I pass Higgins? Hold on. No, because I've never actually talked to Higgins. Oh right. Higgins, are you anywhere? No. Oh, what a shame. Petra, can I give you a disc? What do we have here? Oh, a data disk. It is a data disk. You know what it is? You want to know? This is actually related to how you can discover new diagrams for your workshop handbook. We rely on relic components from the past to build a lot of our current constructs. Many relics in this world are beyond our current understanding and you won't be able to build them. Not even in a hundred years. That's where this data disk comes in. These data disks are located all around the world. They hold lots of useful information on the old relics. If you find any, give them to us and we'll help you research into these relics. The research effort will produce the diagrams that you need to build them. We're not miracle workers, so don't expect us to come up with things from scratch, but we do know a thing or two about how the components should fit together. Anyway, just remember that if you find any data disks, bring them to me, okay? Mm. I will. What did you bring me this time? Ah, this must be a piece of a relic. You can use our recovery machine in the research That's center. That's what it's to called, the recovery it machine. Shape. It'll take data disks, but it should be pretty fast. Have fun. Thank you. How much I'm I only have one, and I think some it's a minimum of five. Okay. But the good news is that's already started. So one thing is if you're new, like just continually giving Petra disks is the way to go. That's one of the things that I tend to do. Um, as I start stalking them and then I just start giving them to her so that way all the research Welcome. can get done. If you're in need of a house or workshop upgrades, this is the place to be. All you need to do is select a plan from the catalog book in our company. Okay. Good to know. Thank you very much. Thank you for the marble. I don't even know. How many people have I talked to uh, for this? Meet and greet. So I've just got Dr. Zhu and Mars left. I don't know where Mars is. I might seek them out in the morning. Uh, that's probably the easiest thing to do. And then the bronze bar should be done soon. Oh, Carol, did you need me? Or are you on my list of people to talk to? Wait, Martha Hi. first. You are probably the new builder everyone's talking about. I'm Martha. Nice to meet you. It's nice to meet I'm you too. Okay. Uh, Carol, no, can I talk to Carol though? Welcome to our little oh. town. Hope you have a wonderful time. I, uh, my store <laughs> moved my camera the wrong costumes, way. So if you ever need to upgrade your armor or suit for a date, 
Come see me. Will do. You look like a nice kid, so I'm going to give you something for free as a leg up. Don't tell my husband, though. I would never. I would never. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Question. Oh, it's... Are you open? No. Nobody's open. I just wanted to know... Yeah. If, um... What the percentage was. Because I do need to sell the, uh, the boxing gloves. At some point. Is that almost everybody? Oh, there's somebody in here? Oh, Sonia, we haven't met yet. You're that new person. I am. You just inherited that workshop outside of town, right? Yep. Oh, sorry. Where are my manners? I'm Sonia. It's nice to meet you, Sonia. Oh, my gosh. Oh, Sonia. Okay. I am... There's Polly being Polly. Is Dr. Oh, he is. Let's quickly say hi to him first before... See, there comes Antoine, and I don't want to interrupt their... Uh... Mom. <laughs> hey, welcome to Portia. Thank I'm you. I'm pretty much the only doctor around here, so come see me when you need to heal up or buy health items. Here, have these as a welcome gift. Thank you. I'm sorry, Antoine. That wasn't my fault. He's gonna come for me now. Okay, who's inside? Maybe like the last person I need is in there. Oh, Mars might be in there right now. Let's find out. Mars, can I? Yes, there you are. Nice to have you. If you need tools or weapons, you can come to my shop. It's got the best selection around these parts. Now, you look like a nice kid, so I'm going to give you these for free as a leg up. Don't tell my wife, though. I won't. And I won't also tell you that your wife told me the exact same thing that you just told me, except the other way around. So you both are giving me stuff for free. And neither one of you wanted the other to know, which probably means we need to work on communication amongst the two of you. Maybe. Possibly. I... There is a question mark. I'm going to deal with that later. But also going to need to build or oh, what is it? Um a fishing rod. I forget exactly what I need. Do I need to Ah, oh, my inventory's full. How much is it to um 400 to unlock one row? Woo! That's all right though. I've got space here to do this stuff. Like I can pick up to this and that that won't kill me okay good so we can chop down little trees we can chop down little bits of stone and we'll see exactly what's needed for the other stuff but for now fuel for the furnaces is definitely a high priority for me because keeping those things running is well it's a task once you get the uh wood shipments coming in though that makes things a lot easier even though i never feel like i get enough anyways um, but I think it's because I just tend to build so much carbon steel just to have it, which in all honesty, I know some people probably don't do, but when you see the sheer amount of carbon steel that I need, oh, it's, uh, woo, it'll be something. Let's jump over here. So what do we got? We got bars being made. They're, they're working their hardest. They really are. Let's do the auto sort, sort all. Thank you. Okay, we've got that. We've got this. Put these in there. Some sand. I'm definitely going to stick that in there. And this. Oh, we need to... Um, Okay. We need to build a fishing rod and a small planter box. Okay. So we need to kick trees and we need a copper bar. The copper bar we'll be able to get. I have nine stamina left. Let's go see if I can kick. I think that tree up ahead is big enough to give me what I need. So we can just kick a tree and hope I get a cocoon kick anything maybe possibly i got honey i got honey i got a wild cocoon yay and i got royal honey i know a certain bear that would like that i think i think wild is his favorite or is it just straight up i forget i think he'll take both though and you'll get good friendship points okay oh i needed two so we'll come back for that i also need to get poop and i need to pick up wooden boards I need a civil, I need a civil cutter. Okay. What do you need for a civil cutter to build? Uh, two copper blades. So you have to get this next. And I don't think I have any old parts. No, I did not get those. So next time we go into the thing, we need more of that. So two copper bars, one bronze. How are you doing on fuel? Let's give it more fuel. Honestly, though. Oh, thank you. Honestly, I might just 
let's just do this let's just keep it going with that and then when we sleep it'll make more which is nice so they can work well little lily here works on sleeping excellent all right we've got some of this some of that barely only need one more bronze bar and that commission's done and then we can pick up another commission in the morning which will be really nice to get some money so that way we can unlock another row of our inventory 